and thank you for joining me for this month's Behind the Article in Envision Magazine. As promised, I'm gonna walk you through an example of how you can reflect upon your existing sales pitch and how you can adapt it. And of course, we're going to use the three concepts that we discussed in the article, relatability, vanity, and value. Now, some of you are thinking, oh, well, that's your mistake right there. I don't have a sales pitch. I educate my patients. Oh, please. You are still using your words to educate or communicate or sell to them. So don't get hung up on silly definitions. The goal here is to adapt what it is that, that we're saying in the optical to be more relatable. So why do we wanna do this? Well, my friend, it is always smart to reflect on existing habits that we have in life with the opportunity of improving upon them. We all get into our routine and our habits and our little groove of doing things, right? But if you never adapt, that groove will turn into a rut. Now here's the thing, many of you can give me a long laundry list of what you think is great about the lens options that you have in your office for your patients. Not to mention the buzzwords of technical features like Abbey value and light transmission and substrate matching the index of the material for better durability. Guess what? Patient doesn't care. And most of you know that and will not even use those big words, but you will still use unintentionally some optical buzzwords just because we're using them amongst our colleagues all the time. We mention AR and they're like, oh, accounts receivable or polycarb. Nope, not normal, average everyday word mm -mm. or high indexes or listing out the numbers of the indexes of the high indexes. No, none of that. Yet we use it all the time. So we are going to run through an example of how we can adapt our pitch and reflect on how we are promoting anti-reflective treatment in our offices. Now, hopefully you've written down your anti-reflective pitch. If you haven't, guess what? You can pause the video, but I really encourage you to write down your entire pitch, every word that is said, not just bullet points. You can't improve without knowing exactly where you're at. Now, don't give me that line of, oh, I switch it up all the time with patients. Okay, yes, we get it. But you typically have the same common thread running through your pitch. So please reflect upon what it is and write it down, um, what it is that you say to your patients. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, now that we have that, using our optical terms, what is it that makes AR treatment great? Well, it helps light pass through the lens and reduces the glare and the reflection of that light coming off of the lens, right? Okay, now without optical terms, ask yourself, why would a patient want that? Well, because they won't have glare coming off their lenses and glare is ugly and you won't be able to see their beautiful eyes. Listen guys, everyone wants to look good. Okay, people like seeing eyes. I mean, having the opportunity to go from, you know, a lens that's nice and clear and you can see me and we can have a conversation where you're looking at me in the eyes versus something like this that has no AR treatment. You can't see a darn thing. Maybe if I get at the right angle, you might be able to see it just right. That's not clear. That's not okay. That's not, that doesn't feel good. Not to mention, I can't even see the darn camera. <laughs> But for a little perspective, I mean, think about it. We live in a society where there is continually photos and video that are being captured all the time. And I'm not just referring to the teeny bopper wannabe TikTok star. My 75 year old grandfather even cares about photos, memories. Think about it, memories are held in photos. And you bet your tushy, my papa is going to want to be able to be seen in his photos for all these memories with the with my kids his great grandkids for years and years and years to come why not make sure that he can be seen and not just a reflection off his glasses okay so that's the vanity part but as we dig a little deeper we start to think about well when you're not having to look through all that glare you're not having to strain to see perfect that'll be way more comfortable and what is something that we know that anti-reflective treatment does for glasses? It makes them way more durable and way easier to clean. Perfect. Now we've covered our three things. So how do we simplify it? Ready? Look better, feel better, and see better. It's that simple. So now your long pitch is now simplified down into it'll help you look better, feel better, and see better. And it helps make them more durable because nobody likes looking at glare and nobody likes scratches. Perfect. How simple is that? Your patient cares about that. No discussion of light transmission, no random data points on how it's going to improve their optics, no discussion of scratch proof. 
Oh my gosh, it hurts my brain even saying that. And we're certainly not talking about warranties. Don't sell for the sake of a warranty, sell for the sake of optics. Look better, feel better, and see better. It's that simple. We've been teaching this uh, concept to our Spexy members since like 2017, since we started Spexy, and even like a decade before that in my independent opticals, just make it simple. And you know that it's good? I'm telling you, because I see it all the time. And even the lens companies now are starting to promote the look better, feel better, and see better because it's simple and it works. So let's review how we can take the look better, feel better, and see better and put it in a pitch to a patient. We'll give you two different variations. You could say something like, this will help you look better, feel better, and see better. It'll help you look better because you're not having to have all that glare coming off your lenses so people can actually see your eyes. It'll help you feel better because you're not having a strain to see through that darn glare. And it'll help you see better because, gosh, if there's no glare on your lenses, you can see clearly through them. Another variation would be, this allows for you to look better, feel better, and see better, and it has amazing durability. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to look at reflections on your lenses, they want to see your eyes. And nobody likes scratches, it's the best treatment ever. So however you want to give your pitch in your office, keep it nice and simple. If you can simplify it down better, great. If you wanna use the look better, feel better, and see better, please do, because it's working for opticals everywhere. I encourage you to do this exercise for every treatment and every option that you sell in your office. Think about how you can refine your pitch to be more relatable, to appeal to vanity, and to have an awesome amount of value. Do it for materials, for polarization, for progressives. The art of being able to reflect on what it is that you're doing allows for you to adapt to become better. One last point I wanna make before we wrap up here. If you don't believe in the product that you're selling, your job is going to be a lot harder. I understand that you're running a business and you need decent margins. I get it. But some offices are choosing to rest their reputation on crappy progressives, crappy treatments, crappy lenses. And if your patient feels like they can get the same thing online because you've given them meh lenses, are they wrong? I believe that if you set your optical apart and only offer the very best, your patients will see that value. We'll see you next month.